Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you how to significantly boost the battery life on your Fossil's Gen 5 smartwatch. So let's get started. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find categorized videos for various content we post on this channel. Okay, since I have been using this Fossil Gen 5, I have noticed significant battery draining issues and it's not to blame for Fossil but it's the Wear OS which is well known in the tech industry to have a poor battery performance unlike the Fitbit OS or the Samsung's Tizen OS. I still remember when I got the Moto 360 first generation which also had the Wear OS and I remember that uh, I was barely even able to make through 12 hours. And for the last year, I have been testing out Fitbit and Samsung smartwatches. So coming over to Wear OS from them, the first thing I miss is the average three plus day battery life with the Fitbit and Samsung devices, which seems impossible to get it with the Fossil Gen 5. So today I'll show you few tricks to get close to that two plus day battery life. So stick around. Let's start with the built in Fossil's option to extend battery life. Unlike the other Wear OS devices, Fossil has implemented its own battery saving software of options which is really appreciable and relatively easy to use. So to access it, all you have to do is scroll down to access the setting shortcuts where you will find the battery optimization icon. Click it and you will find options like daily, extended, custom and time only. Now this is amazing you actually can get more than a week of battery life if you go for the time only option where you will be only displayed with the time and nothing else. So if you are out on a trip, you can turn on this option to have the luxury to check time for more than a week. I personally use this option when the battery falls below 15%, especially when I know that I won't have any access to the charger. This is atypical to other Wear OS smartwatches, so kudos to Fossil for this. Now, I'm not going to talk about the daily mode as you are not here for this, because with the daily mode, all the sensors and connectivity options will be turned on, like the Wi-Fi, location, etc. So you won't be able to cross even 12 hours, I guess. So let's talk about the built-in extended mode which is pretty awesome by itself as I was able to get about a day and a half with this option. So with this option you can see that the Bluetooth stays off from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. basically at the night time. Keep in mind this range is customizable as shown over here. So with this option literally your watch stays silent without any connectivity mo uh, monitoring your sleep so you get that battery life preserved. This is not a privilege you get with most of the Wear OS smartwatches. Another advantage to this mode I find is that it's relatively hard to access settings like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, location etc on the Wear OS smartwatches. As you can see when I drop down from the top, I only get seven options to choose from, unlike this Samsung Galaxy Active Watch, where you can customize the top drop down menu and add as many options as you want. So you can get, uh, so you can add Wi Fi, location, etc., to toggle off and on as needed. So with this mode, the watch will automatically do the job for you when needed. This will be a good option to see on other Wear OS devices like the Tick Watch. Now there is one drawback to this mode and that is except Bluetooth, you can't toggle other options on or off as needed. So you have to go in the settings to do that. But Fossil got you covered over here by the custom mode. So in the custom mode, you can manually toggle options on and off on top of the Bluetooth custom range. So as you can see, I have pretty much everything off except this phone audio. It would be really nice if all the other options can be timed like the Bluetooth. So maybe Fossil, if you're watching this video, 
this is something you can work on in the future update. With all that being said, I was able to get about 2 days of battery life with this mode. Now you can see in these modes, you still have the heart rate monitoring, activity tracking and notification on. So if you know that you are not exercising throughout the day and you want the activity tracking to be turned off, you can go in the menu, find the Google Fit app, scroll all the way down to the settings and then you will find the option called track physical activity which you can see is turned on so if you turn it off you can save extra battery life throughout the day as certain activity tracking sensors like accelerometer altimeter does not need to work all the time so when you know that you are going for exercises you can come back over here and turn it on I wish there was a shortcut option to toggle this on and off right from the battery modes uh, which I talked earlier. Next trick is going in the settings, go in the general and if you have this auto launch media control on, make sure to turn it off as if you turn it on, your watch will be constantly scanning any ongoing media like your phone's music player or YouTube player, uh, even the Google Mini, etc. to control them which I find that I can sacrifice it to extend the battery life so unless you need it you can turn it off and this will significantly affect the battery life in a good way. Next trick is the app called Cardiogram. I don't have this app installed on this watch at this moment but this app is notorious on draining the battery life as it keeps the heart rate and other biometric sensors running every few minutes which significantly affects battery life. This watch came pre-installed with this app so I just uninstalled it from the Google Play Store over here. No wonder it will be a good app with a lot of health monitoring options but what I found was just removing this app boosted the battery life exponentially. Now if you want to get your heart rate monitoring, I found that the Google Fit does a good job at heart, heart rate monitoring without affecting the battery life. So let's go on the Google Fit, scroll all the way down to the settings and find the option called background heart rate options. Turning this one uh, on will monitor your heart rate change throughout the day without affecting your battery life. Speaking of that, if you don't need this option, then turning it off will add more hours to the battery life. But I find this option essential for me, so I have kept it on. But if you are out for a trip or anything, you, and you don't care about anything except the notification from your phone, then you can obviously turn it off and it, it will get you more than 2 plus days provided you follow all the above mentioned tricks. Next up is avoid installing unwanted apps which demands constant phone connection as well as location. So as you can see I don't have a ton of apps or games installed. I only have few essential apps that I may need on a regular basis. The play store of the Wear OS watches is bloated with tons of apps and games and some of them will just drain your battery way faster. The best practice. I would recommend is that read the reviews of the app you want to download. Once you install it, test it out for a few days and see if it impacts your battery performance and if it's not good on the battery life as the cardiogram app mentioned above, just go ahead and un uninstall it. Also look for popular developers as they constantly keep updating their apps to make it more efficient. Next up is brightness. To access it, go in the settings, then display and find adjust brightness. By default the brightness is set to auto. For the video purpose I have set it maximum uh, that is 5 as I have bright studio lights for better video quality. But I find that turning it down to 2 works great even in the daylight, room light and night light and doing this will add extra hours to your battery life. 
Since we are in the display, let's talk about the sunlight boost, which you can find right under the brightness option. By default, this is turned on. So this will um, just momentarily boost the brightness uh, in the sunlight. So if you are someone who drives constantly for work or are outdoor most of the time, then this can significantly affect the battery life. I prefer to turn it off as even the brightness uh, of level two, you can make things out uh, pretty pretty well in the daylight. There are other battery draining options like uh, always on display, Wi-Fi, location, phone audio, OK Google Detect, which are by default turned off in the extended mode, uh, which I talked earlier in this video. So if you have any Wear OS smartwatch, uh, turning these options off will boost battery life furthermore. Keep in mind if you have the phone audio off, you will not able to answer the call on your watch using the built-in speaker and that is why I have turned it on in the custom mode. But if you guys get a lot of phone call during the day, it can still affect your battery life. The same implies to the OK Google Detect. As if it's turned on, every time you say OK Google, the Google Assistant will wake up um, so it's it sort of scan, uh, is scanning for itself in the background in the extended mode the location and the uh, NFC are on demand uh, That means that they will turn on if you open any app Say for example if I open Google Maps the location will turn on and that's why I said earlier in the video that don't install random apps that rely heavily on the sensors as most of these apps do try to get your location and with this on-demand options um, even having the extended battery options on your battery uh, it will still drain hope this makes sense the last tip will be to turn off unnecessary notifications like if you have a ton of apps on your phone that constantly pushes a lot of notification then go on the setting of your mobile device, find notification and turn off all the notification of all the apps that you don't need to be constantly updated and what this will do is that it will not push those notifications onto your watch and your watch will not vibrate or light up so this will save both your phones and your watch's battery life also in the setting of your watch you will find apps and notification options wherein you will find do not disturb when the watch is off the wrist this option is by default turned on but if you have it turned off accidentally for any reason make sure to turn it on when you take your watch off your wrist it will automatically put the watch in the do not disturb mode to save battery life so again fossil did a good job on defaulting such options so there you go, following all these tips and tricks will easily make you go over two plus days with this Fossil Gen 5 smartwatch. Keep in mind all these options actually works for any Wear OS smartwatch uh, battery optimization. But Fossil has done a good job on implementing few of these options in those battery modes I mentioned earlier. Please make sure to subscribe as there are more tips and tricks, software reviews, comparison or videos with other smartwatches coming out on a regular basis. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.